all right welcome back so just uh, a quick recap we're in dock town ready to talk to morgan uh but before we do that just want to let you know okay, so i went to the wetlands and i did a bunch of stuff here um i also went to the crossroads we only have to fight one more of the bosses like the big bosses so yeah and i feel like they're, they're kind of the same all in all i fought both of them but uh one was a little bit too strong for me so we have to wait for that i'll at least show y'all got you guys that one that's unlocking the gate all of it but um yeah let's get started That's our thing. Hmm. Hmm. We should actually do this. Let's um. So let's still talk with Morgan. Hey, yeah. Now it's rocking. Heard some people lost their homes. I wish there was something I could do. Why did Morgan want to meet in Minrathis? Isn't she helping the Veil Jumpers in Arlathan? Indeed, but today we have a guest, and he needed the anonymity that only a city provides. Well, look who it is. Good to see you, Lace. Mm. Rook, you remember how Varric and I served the Inquisition? Well, this is Inquisitor Adar, the man who led us all. How many famous people do you know, Harding? Should I expect the uh, Divine to show up? She also served in the Inquisition, but we didn't talk much. Morgan and Harding have told me about what you've accomplished since taking over for Varric. You've put together an impressive team, and you've got the best chance, maybe the only chance, to stop pass. Elgernon and Gillenane. I won't let you down. Don't worry about me. Worry about the people you've recruited, and about the people depending on you. I only sealed the breach because I had people like Cassandra, Liliana, and Cullen with me from the start. Without Dorian's magic and Josephine's diplomacy, we never would have come together to stop Corypheus. Years later, I had to turn the Inquisition over to Chantry Control, but I never lost the friends who had gotten me through it all. Ultimately, they're the only ones you can really count on. Do right by them, and you'll find your way. We've got the makings of a good team, I think. We'll do our best. And while you do so, Rook, the Inquisitor will do his best to ensure that the rest of the world remains intact. A daunting prospect, mm. given that most of the South is under siege by Darkspawn. It's that bad? If not for the Inquisitor, the South would have collapsed completely. He has not been idle while you assembled your team. If the South is in such turmoil, why come up here just to talk? And how did you get here so fast? Did you think you were the only one to unlock the secrets of the Alluvians? Morgan helped the Inquisition use the Alluvians to travel. While I lack the Dreadwolf's Vir of us, I may still scurry between the walls of this world to be where I might do the most good. The Inquisitor asked to meet you, and I thought it might help you to meet him. I thought the gods were mostly active up here. It's really that bad in the south. Elganon and Gilanane have indeed restricted their activities to the north. But the forces they deployed to the south, the strange new Darkspawn, have spread fear and corruption greater than any blight in history. Darkspawn have cut through the center of Orlais. Valroyo and Halam Sharal are barely holding out. For Elden would have fallen already if not for help from Orzammar. With Denerim lost, the Fereldans are holding the line at Redcliffe. Mm. The Free Marches have the worst of it. Acting Viscount Aveline Vallon led the evacuation of Kirkwall. She's taking her people and what's left of her army to help Prince Vale keep Starkhaven. Maker, we didn't know. My ma... Don't worry. I talked to the Divine and your mother's safe with the Inquisition. Thank you. The Inquisition might just be an arm of the Chantry now. 
But we've still done our part to get people to fight this threat together. Again, the South is my problem, not yours, Rook. You stop the gods, and I'll make sure the rest of Thetis doesn't fall to the Blight. I've been having trouble getting people in authority to listen to us. If you help with some of your political strength... My political strength? Deventer hates me. The Venatori helped make sure of that. And while I have a few friends in the Wardens, their leadership hasn't much cared for me since we clashed at Adamant Fortress. The Inquisitor did not come all this way to leave you with empty words, however. He brought something no one else could. A wolf statuette? We've found others like it in the crossroads. Where'd you find yours? I found it right around the time Solus's ritual failed, when he was pulled into the Fade. We've examined the magic, and it's tied to the Veil. To him, somehow. Solus is ancient, and his magic is part of him in a way far beyond that of mortals. I suggest you take it to the crossroads and see if something in the lighthouse calls to it. Perhaps it will yield some insight into your new ally. Solus is trapped in the Fade. He's not my biggest concern at the moment. Solus is trapped in your dreams, and while he cannot match Elgin and Orgillanane in strength, he is far more cunning. He is the Dreadwolf. He led a rebellion that lasted centuries. How many times do you think the gods thought him trapped and helpless? I considered Solus a friend. I had hoped to convince him to see reason. It's too late for that now, but still, if this can give you some insight, help you understand him. Whatever it turns out to be, I hope that it helps. We should go, Inquisitor. The armies in the south need you. Right. Harding, stay sharp. You're my eyes in the north. Always, Inquisitor. Rook, good luck. If I come across anything else that can help you, you'll be the first to know. Thank you. Mm. What's, what's with that arm? I thought you lost it. We lost our arm at the end of the game. Mm. We should take a break. Head back to the lighthouse for a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold up, let's um. We have this particular quest that I want to do. Do I have? Yeah, I do. He wants to do not this one. Uh, I can tell y'all this one. Yeah, it's in it's intense. This one. There's a fight ahead. Go, go, go! <laughs>
last for it. the last of them. Is everyone mm. intact? Thank you again for coming. My duties include tending to these rites of remembrance. <laughs> Excellent. Manfred found his way down. A very good, Manfred. He sounds excited. I thought we'd start the rites here. A tableau of the dead, commissioned 173 years ago. These lives were flickers against the ages, precious, fragile, and finite. Now they serve as a warning. Don't linger over long in the gloom. Live with grace and fervor while you may. No one's going to seize the day for you. Just so. That one's livelier. Here. Who were you? when you breathed above. This body was a tailor's, a mother's. She laughed and taught and wove the robes kings wore when they were crowned. Someone must realign her thoracic vertebrae. I hope the novices are inspecting the displays. Seems disrespectful to abandon something you built. Precisely. No wonder there's been an uptick in hauntings. Wait, what? Let's continue. So, what now? We light candles in remembrance of the dead. Would you care to light the candle, Rook? Look at this, the last tomb of the Tannhausens, a very influential family in the Storm Age. We broke the bones of dragons. A posthumous motto. Their last heir met his match against a Highland Ravager. Death by dragon. I'm surprised there was enough to bury. Do you know, I never expected that the door we found back in the vault of the Beloved would lead here. So, the necropolis actually shuffles its rooms around? From time to time. Very unlikely to happen while we're inside a chamber. Could you light the next candle? Mm. Aha! One of my favorite flowers! A variegated weeping widower. You know your plants? Oh, alchemy is my hobby. It's a break from teaching spirit calling and theoretical applied metaphysics. If you ever want a side job, the crows are always looking for new potions. Yes, as I recall, you're rather famous for it. This way, Rook. You're right about the gardens being peaceful. The necropolis has its dangers, but these places are a refuge for the dead. How many people are buried here anyway? Excellent question. We rarely should take a new census. Examining the graves? <laughs> You'll need to light these candles as well. Open your hearts to the final day. Companion 
of all the ages. I was pleasantly surprised by your respect for our undead tableau earlier, Rook. I'm beginning to think people outside Navarra find the necropolis a little unnerving. Crows have plenty of ceremony, believe me. The spirits gather. Only a few more candles. Follow me. Ah, look here. Hi. Should I say hi? It's curious about you. We're also enjoying the gardens, but we've one last ritual ahead. On your way, my friend. Spirits really are your specialty. I've always had a rapport with them. Even as a child, they were my companions. After you started training here? After I was orphaned. Oh. A collapsed building, swift deaths. After the funeral, the watchers took me in. Related condolences, if that's worth anything. Always. We move on, as we must, but those long nights linger about the shadows. How did you deal with it? I didn't. When I first arrived here, I was terrified. And you still joined the Watchers? They're what saved me. Come. The next set of graves lies ahead. Uh, I can imagine being a like being a kid and just coming here and being terrified. But honestly, to me, this was this is cool. Oh, this was cool. Please but. light the next candles if you would. I imagine like my niece and nephew coming out here. They'd be like, they'd be terrified if they saw something like this. There's much to recommend about the rhythm of a ceremony. It eases our worst hours. As a boy, the Watcher's rituals were exactly what I needed to steady my days with purpose. And some death magic? Well, every young mage needs a speciality. All this pageantry, this magnificent gloom and its rites, I ask you, Rook, what is it for? It's gotta be the living, right? Yes, exactly, exactly. This place is an abundance of history, of magic, of memories. The Watchers preserve it so the living may draw comfort from those who've gone before. No, that kind of makes sense. We must get to the candle, please, Manfred. You told Harding that Manfred used to be a wisp until you gave him a body. Yes, he's taken so well to it, haven't you, Manfred? <laughs> Here are the last candles you'll need to light. Once you're ready, we'll need to ring the bell. Let the rites be acknowledged. Our bonds seen and sealed. We honor the listening spirits. Hail from the abyss. We witness, good watcher, faith kept in all our hearts. What was... The necropolis hosts many spirits. We thank these guardians for their protection and friendship. We'll need to ring the bell once more to close out the departing ceremony.
All right. So you were really afraid of this place as a child? It wasn't the necropolis itself, but what was draped around it. Have you ever been frightened by the thought of dying, Rook? Hasn't everyone from time to time? When I was younger, it happened more often than that. That's when I discovered I possess a great terror of dying. Hmm. It goes beyond dread. Can't be reasoned with or soothed over. It comes without warning. In the dead of night, in sunlit streets, a roar, strangling fear, struck somewhere deep past the heart. That's an issue for a necromancer. Oddly, I discovered I wasn't alone. I debated this fear with friends. I argued with teachers. Yet, it lingered. Manfred's right. That's maudlin enough. There are struggles, but a watcher should always find peace amongst the graves. And what sort of host would I be if we didn't end with some light refreshment? Well, if Manfred's excited, how can I refuse? Cheers, Manfred. Oh, oh, in the lighthouse, when you interact with Manfred, it's on rock, paper, scissors. Oh no, I just love that. I just love that little detail. Um, guess what? We are at 23 minutes. Yeah, this place is pretty dope. Um, I have just stuff that we can read. Different. Loop to be grabbed, like little loop. You ever clean your own dishes at the Necropolis, Emric? Or is that a job for skeleton butlers? I was an apprentice once. How about now? Well, I <clears throat> am perfectly capable of scrubbing a pot. That's good. You're on cleanup tonight. Mm. See what's over here. Probably nothing. I wonder, can I? I, mean, I guess it worked all the same. Is that? Actual mist inside? Oh, grave mist isn't a wine. It's magically infused vapors captured near tombs where spirits dwell. I don't partake myself, but it's supposedly quite invigorating. Hmm. Almost. Just a casual inquiry. Oh, 
Mother? Haven't seen you for... Won't forget. By the fireplace. You too. Love you. We want to so we can upgrade the caretaker again. Um, I'll do like one on a little look. The entrance right here. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Where is this chest? Is it above me? Hold up. Yeah, it's above me. Yeah, I don't know how to get that. Let's see if we can figure this out. It's a meditative puzzle on the echoes of our actions. You know the solution? It needs to be discovered if it's to have any meaning. All right. Uh, I see. Let's try this again. Hmm. No, I'm going to mess with that later. Should I do it right now? Uh, I'm not, he's not going in there. How much time we got? something let's just say Now lastly, uh, before we get, before we move on, I'll try to get to just later. I want to see what this. Yeah, I, I figure. Oh. 
All right, let's head back. To the lighthouse. Oh, wait. Get a little cutscene. Rook, just got word. First Warden's calling everyone back to Weishaupt. Everyone except me, seems like. Guess the First Warden didn't like me joining your team. Calling Wardens back from all over Thedas is a big step. Did he give any reason why? Not exactly, but I've heard rumors of a massive Darkspawn horde on the move. Even hearing there's an Archdemon with them. The timing can't be a coincidence. The gods must be behind this. I bet they are. Rook, if the gods have an archdemon, Warden Lore says archdemons only show up during a blight. Doesn't say anything about elven gods. Seems like the rules have changed, and we're going in blind. We need to know what we're up against. Mm -hmm. I'll talk to Solus. See if he knows anything about any of this. Make sure the others are ready to move. All right. So know we're doing next. So we know what we're doing next. Uh, prepare. I think we're ready for what's up. I'm just saying. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, though, about the um, Inquisitor, why did he not have, like, any... He, he should be missing an arm. That's all I'm saying. I feel like they changed, they changed a little too much. Like, low-key, this is, like, alternate path type stuff. Uh, actually, um, just looking at this... Um, it's probably gonna be a side quest episode. So, real quick, I'm gonna do like these. These are just like interactions. There aren't missions, so I'm gonna just do those off camera. No, probably just leave sleep a little bit for you guys to figure out by yourselves. So, um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. So, as always, if you like what you see, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.